So there are two basic types of energy that a person can run on. You can either run on real energy, which in science is defined as ATP, adenosine sign choice phosphate. This is cellular energy. This is, you have little energy factories inside almost every cell of your body. And they make energy out of, for simplicity's sake, food plus air, right? So that is one way that you should make energy. And that, from my point of view, is the correct way in the vast majority of situations. Now, what if there isn't enough food around? Or what if you need so much energy in this moment that food doesn't give you enough? Imagine you go to your so, adrenals at that point, right? You're going to tap into there for Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So adrenaline, cortisol, these stress chemicals, they will raise up. Your body will mobilize energy from storage. It will redistribute the energy so it will go towards the survival functions, like you mentioned mental clarity. It will go towards the lungs, it will go towards the muscles, it will go towards the heart. So you'll be able to function, you'll be able to do your job, you'll be able to run a race. But it will take energy away from your digestive system, from your immune system, from your cellular detoxification system, from your endocrine system, from some functions in your brain. And so that's why maybe later, you feel more unhappy, you feel more anxious, you're more likely to have skin issues, you're more likely to have allergies, you're more likely to have intolerances, you're more likely to over time build up toxicity until it reaches a point where it's a serious disease.